Hey everyone, I am super excited because for the first time in seven years, we were able to shop for Kroger groceries for our house. Seven years ago, Matt and I made the decision to move out of the city of Knoxville to the greater Knoxville surrounding area, a rural area that was closer to his work. With that, we gave up getting to shop at Kroger's and for a long time, Aldi's and other places like that. We had one local store. Well, we recently, our Walgreens now has Kroger pickup. So for the first time in seven years, we were able to shop at Kroger's for our house without having to drive almost an hour to go to a Kroger's. So I'm super excited. I'm gonna turn you around and show you what picked up. And then at the end, I will tell you the few sub or substitutions and out of order things that they had on our receipt. But let's go look at our Kroger order today. So here is our first ever Kroger pickup. Not only is it a Kroger pickup, it's a Kroger pickup from a Walgreens location. Walgreens recently partnered with Kroger to provide Kroger groceries to locations in rural communities like ours that do not have Kroger stores nearby. Like I said, it's near an hour for us to actually drive to a Kroger's. So this is something that we greatly appreciate and we're so glad to be able to go and pick up Kroger groceries again because Kroger's used to be our absolute favorite store and now we can shop there again. So I'm gonna start in the, oh, also, I was so surprised. They do brown paper bags for pickup and I'm so glad they do that because those are recyclable. I hate using so much plastic. So I was super excited to see that they came in paper bags. And I know that sounds like maybe something silly to some people, but it really did kind of make my day to see that. So I picked up two two liters of Coke for Matt. They had the 20 ounces were the same price this week as the two liters, so we opted to buy him two liters instead. This is something else that I'm really, really excited about. I don't think that sticker on top for our order actually says anything personal, but I'll try not to show it. This is our absolute favorite pack of sparkling ice. Sparkling ice is the one flavored drink that we have found that I can drink that doesn't bother, bother my health issues or anything that I had that doesn't allow me to drink Coke Zeros straight without like making them into a float or anything. And they had my favorite pack and I was so excited. I was so afraid they were gonna substitute it, they didn't. The reason why this is my favorite is that I don't do cherry, it upsets my stomach. I'm not allergic, it just upsets my stomach. So this one has no cherry in it. It has strawberry, watermelon, classic lemonade, grape raspberry, and lemon lime. So it like, it made my day that not only was I able to go pick them up, but I was able to pick up stuff that I can't even find at local stores. Like that was the other great thing. I, I found things I can't find at my local stores. So let me go ahead and cover that again real quick too. Something else that none of our local stores, and I've not seen at any other store than Kroger's carries, is this Carb Master yogurt. When we stayed with my grandmother last year after her surgery, I discovered this Carb Master yogurt at Kroger's and it's their specific brand. And now I can have low carb yogurt at home, which is why we don't eat a lot of yogurt because I can't have like a high carb yogurt. So we have low carb yogurt for at home. I purchased low carb for the girls as well. They prefer it. This is the vanilla flavor. Over here, and I'll go ahead and skip ahead, not only can you pick up the big tubs, that tub was I think $1.79. You can pick up these little tubs. This one actually says Dairy Blend. You can actually get the Carb Master in yogurt as well. Like there's a difference, like they have both. They have one that's Dairy Blend and one that's yogurt. But not only can I have low carb yogurt, I can have it in flavors. So this week I'm gonna try, and I got these just to try. They're 40 cents a piece. They got the key lime pie and the cinnamon roll. And again, I'm sorry if I sound super, super excited. I just, I really am super excited to be able to do this. So our, lo our closest grocery store actually has a pickup service. They will not do any deli items on pickup. Like no coleslaw, potato salad, anything like that. They will not do it. But Kroger's does. So I picked up a large container of coleslaw for an off low carb weekend for us, which still when I'm on off low carb, I still have to have low carb yogurt, but an off low carb weekend for us. So we're gonna do coleslaw with the Marie Calendar key lime pie, and we're also going to make hush puppies. And we're gonna have, uh, you saw the tilapia in the Aldi's haul the video before this one, and we're going to do uh, a fish meal, kind of like a seafood style meal, and just something fun to do at home. I normally get the coleslaw mixes at Aldi's. They were cheaper at Kroger pickup this week. 
so I went ahead and picked up two bags of it to make egg roll in a bowl. They had Hormel pepperoni, the original brand. Our local store has even had trouble carrying this, but they actually had it. And I, this was one item I put no substitution because we don't like the lower sodium and we don't like the reduced fat ones and they don't bake as well on low carb pizzas. So we selected no substitution and they had them. So I was super happy about that. Since it's been seven years since we bought Kroger brand coffee, I remembered that we liked the breakfast blend, but just in case I was wrong, and just in case the blend has changed flavor any, I opted to go with a smaller coffee container for us to just try over the next week and see if we like it. If we like it, then we're gonna switch back to getting this. But if I remember correctly, we really, really liked their breakfast blend because we're mild roast coffee kind of people. We also do a lot of like coffee specialty stuff at home. So that's why we went with the mild blend. But I think I remember we really, really liked their breakfast blend. So that's why we got a smaller one. You usually see us get a big one, but we bought a smaller coffee this time. Another thing that we can get for pickup that we cannot get at our local store are these Mio's. So this is the black cherry and this one is the strawberry pineapple smash. Matt uses these in the morning when it's hotter for substitute because he can't have like hot drinks in the morning before going to work construction because it upsets his stomach and just gets him too hot. So we found that he can drink these with cold water in the morning instead and they work perfectly for him. The smoked sausage I bought to do low carb jambalaya. So they have this, I've had it before and we used to shop Kroger's all the time. So that's what we bought that for was for the put in the jambalaya. We cut it in half this way and then we chop it into slices for it to make it easier for the girls. Which now that they're bigger, I might not do that. We picked up the Cabot brand cheese. This is for Sarah. This is the only brand cheese that I have ever found that is lactose free. So this, that's why this cheese is just for her. We still had leftover cheese for the other girls. I'll go ahead and show this because we did the Walgreens pickup. They, they uh, greeted us and said that they had a free gift from Walgreens for us for doing the pickup and they gave us this chapstick. I'm gonna hold it up to where I can read it better. It's natural unflavored lip moisturizer. So I'm gonna try this because I just thought that was really cool. She was super sweet and they were great and she explained the whole, since it was my first time, she explained the whole substitution process and everything and they were completely, what my 13 year old described as completely perfectly professional with kindness and I love that definition of it. So because I wasn't 100% sure if I would get the produce, I needed at least two bell peppers this week. I got three. These were on sale, I think, for a dollar. They were on sale for $1.50 each, and then this one was like under a dollar for just it. And I was kind of glad that they saved the plastic and only did all three of them in one bag, so I was so worried they were gonna put all three of them in separate bags for being different colors, but they didn't. I had purposely bought orange and then a blue one, but I didn't realize I should have specified in the description of the Kroger pickup, you can put substitution options. I didn't realize that I should have specified that I needed blue. So they actually had substitute with peach, but we actually refused the substitution because we didn't need peach, we needed orange and we needed blue. So the girls and I made a quick decision at the pickup and decided to just go with the orange. And this was a substitution. It smoked ham. We had it was I'll show you on the or I'll tell you in a minute what it was a substitution for. But this is deli meat for all of us for this week. Their Kroger brand cheese was on sale. This one was a substitution. The aged white cheddar was because they were out of the aged white cheddar for the Kroger brand. The girls that for the for the girls I picked up Kobe Jack. And then for Matthew and myself, I picked up Pepper Jack because we like a little bit more kick than they do. We also picked up one bag of the Kroger brand Season Spiral Fries for our ocean theme party that we're gonna do. I was actually super shocked because I'd heard people say that they had been having a hard time getting almond milk on pickup. Not only did we get one, but we got two. We actually will sometimes go through two a week, but I wanted to go ahead and get them. and. I was able to also put on there that if they had to substitute to only substitute with unsweetened, but they didn't have to substitute. They also carry sugar-free Kroger brand coffee creamer. I don't ever remember. I was not, I didn't have to eat low carb last time we got Kroger. So I've never tried their sugar-free creamer, but I'm going to try it and I'll let you all know. And then I'll reorder if we really like it. They had a couple other flavors as well. This one was a substitution. And this is another thing that made me super happy about the Kroger pickup option. 
I specified that they could substitute lactose-free 2% milk, but it had to be lactose-free milk. And since they were out of the regular lactose-free milk, they found a calcium enriched option that I didn't even see on the app and they substituted with that. So it made me so happy that they took the time to do that substitution for us and make sure it was exactly what we needed. Cause that one is an allergy issue, not as much like the, the Jello, that was just like a, a splurge thing, a little extra. This is an allergy issue. So I was so glad that they took the time to make sure that we ended up with a lactose free milk option. So overall, super excited with it. So let's go on to talking about the substitutions. I already told you that the Sargento's right here was supposed to be Kroger brands. Um, it was the substitution for the Sargento's was only 30 cents more, but I thought that wasn't bad. And it's cheese for just Matt. So it's not like we're gonna use like a whole, whole ton of that but I am really happy that they did find a substitution for that anyway, so it worked. Like I said already, they substituted the regular 2% uh, lactose-free milk with calcium, and I'll always from now on remember to put that specific substitutions, like the issue with the Jello. I should have specified that was on me, but I'm super happy they did that with the lactose-free milk. The only thing that they could not substitute is that they had a 32 ounce Kroger boneless skinless tilapia but thankfully I was able to, I also picked one up at Aldi's just in case and because Aldi's actually had theirs marked down this week like it was on sale because they had quite a bit of it. Um, and they had it. So I, was, I had already picked that up so it wasn't a huge deal but Kroger's was completely sold out of that. The ham was supposed to be Kroger's deli style smoked ham 16 ounce. They substituted for this one instead and it's an eight ounce, but it's okay. It's a little bit thicker slices, and I think we can still make it work for a week. They were out of the blue jello. They were gonna substitute peach, but it was okay. That was one of those, like, I should have specified that was on me. And they were, we also had ordered two blocks of the cabbage cheese. We had also ordered the extra sharp white cheddar. It's, um, instead of red right here, the label is black. So look for this label and then there's this one and then there's one where this part's black and then this is black and white instead of red and black checkered. If you're ever, if you're wanting to look for, oh, and this part is blue. So if you're looking for those in store, like for me, I need a visual. So that, that's what, that helps with that. The lactose free milk substitution was the same price. The Sargento's was 30 cents more. The ham was 40 cents cheaper. They waived the pickup fee. And that is it for the substitutions. So that's it for our first ever Kroger pickup. As you can tell, I'm super excited because this is a great opportunity for us. I will talk about it in another video. This video is going to be put up the same day as another video because I want you all to be able to keep up with the hauls like right as soon as we do them so people can stay up to date on like sales and things that we share and I just feel like it's it would be it's more beneficial for you all if I share them quickly after getting them so this will go up the same day as a vacation video after vacation videos I will do a video talking about why we have switched to Kroger pickup but thank you so much for following us along we're super excited to be able to have this opportunity we're thankful so so thankful to have this opportunity one more thing I say thankful this is not a sponsored video I am just ex seriously expressing my sincere thanks for the fact that this opportunity became available for us to actually go and pick up groceries but that's that's just gratitude out of my heart it was not sponsored just so clarification but thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time